Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play. Where we're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South. I am really excited about today's session because we're going to be tackling a problem that has plagued us for a little while. And I feel like we've always been sort of setting it aside and tucking it under the rug. But uh, the, uh, the rug can only cover so much, folks. We are having some financial troubles. Uh, and as much as we were dancing around, or I say we, but as much as I was dancing around the uh, exact verbiage last session, and perhaps even the session before, I think it is fair to call them problems. We are having financial problems, and I'm hoping that today's session will see us fix those problems. Uh, now, I just want to mention, I did see many, many, many comments from the previous episode talking about potentially reducing the difficulty at this point. I find it interesting uh, that so many of you feel that way, especially given our current circumstances, for me, and again, I totally this might be a me thing, uh, though to be fair, I've seen some comments to the contrary as well that uh, that have the same viewpoint that I'm about to express. But for me, this is when hard difficulty gets the most fun. This is why I wanted to play on hard difficulty in the first place. I wanted to be challenged by the game. And you'll remember a couple of episodes ago, I threw out a, a vote about like, hey, yeah, should we um, switch over to medium difficulty? Uh, you know, many people said, yeah, let's switch over to medium, but the, the, the impetus, the reason for that uh, initial vote was that things had gotten too easy. We weren't really being challenged by the hard difficulty, it was just us having to do more tedious stuff, which is where that initial, uh, you know, question even came from. But now, here with this financial situation, we're actually being challenged by the hard difficulty. Uh, so for me, that's a reason to stay on hard difficulty and to try and overcome that challenge again. And just as a reminder, I mean, Elite Zoo North was medium difficulty all the way through. And the Polar Bear Mafia still came through and still caused us a lot of trouble, right? And we overcame that. We were in the negative, I mean, gee, we were like negative 500k or something with the, with the Polar Bears at Elite Zoo North. We bounced back. We had, you know, like, what, 80 episodes after that uh, massive deficit was... Uh, was uh, inflicted upon us by the Polar Bear Mafia. Uh, we bounce back, though, and I think we'll do that again over here. But, but again, uh, I totally hear and see why uh, some of y'all were saying, like, hey, let's, you know, let's ease up the difficulty, and that way we can spend more time just building or, or just looking at animals and things like that. Uh, and I feel like that... Oh, man, look at this backup over here. I feel like that makes sense uh, if the only thing that was challenging was, was tedium. But... In this circumstance, it is not tedium. I want to overcome this one last major hurdle, and then we can think about going down to medium difficulty, because I think after we overcome this, it will be, you know, just tedium. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly excited for this. Uh, it really gets me, uh, it gets, uh, it's one of those things that gets my brain going, I suppose. It's like, okay, how do we overcome this situation? Uh, we've made it for ourselves. What triggered it? And what can we do that is low cost, high impact, and get us out of this hole that we're in uh, without, you know, completely throwing aside what uh, what this Let's Play is about. Um, you know, maintaining that eliteness. I'm not just going to make a bunch of, you know, junky uh, enclosures or something. I, I, I might make, you know, an enclosure, maybe two enclosures um, to, uh, uh, to, to add some more animals. But that's, you know, I, I still want to put some effort into those things. I still want to make them fit the Elite Zoo brand. And for me, that's where, uh, where some of that challenge and, uh, <laughs> and, and fun comes in from. Uh, let's go ahead and... Get the party started though i just want to clean this up a little bit I, I like doing this little initial mini tour at the at the top of every episode just gives us a quick overview of how things are looking again from the the guest standpoint um but yes i think a big part of solving today's problems uh will involve a lot of animal management i think guest happiness here's what we're going to do with regards to that and i, I hope it works well uh, another thing to consider is that i can't go around building massive constructs right now we barely have uh, the starting money that we started the zoo with. Uh, so I can't go around, you know, taking on a massive uh, time lapse where we build an entire, you know, enclosure or even beautify a certain place. So we really have to be picky about how we tackle the situation. And again, that for me, that's like, that's, that's the challenge of franchise mode. Right, that's the uh, that's the uh, that's where the uh, like otherwise I'd I'd play sandbox mode if I didn't want to care about money. Uh, now we have some. Um, you know, aces up our sleeves, so to speak. And in a worst case scenario, and hopefully it won't come to this, but in a worst case scenario, we have, sorry, if we go to the uh, trade center over here, we have a bunch of animals and animal storage that are of, you know, good quality that we can quick trade. Again, 
that's a desperate times call for desperate measures kind of measure. I don't want to have to do that, but as you can see, like, you know, Salehe over here will sell for a good 6,500. Uh, we might actually do that this session. I tried to trade him, but he didn't get traded out. That, that, uh, that, that's largely because of his age, I think. Um, but anyway, point being, we have 38 animals that we can quick trade if things become extremely desperate. And not just that, but let's actually kick things off by uh, taking a look at some of these um, habitats and, and clearing these guys out if need be. We got two females over here. Let's actually... Oh, we don't have to buy any replacements. I did empty this last session, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Do we have any red-eyed tree frogs? I do not. All right. They're pretty cheap. Let's go ahead and get some and make sure we're able to... Uh, uh, you know, have have more red-eyed tree frogs that we can then sell. Um, again, good financial injections over here. I find that's like a good low-cost, high-impact solution, like I was saying earlier. Uh, element of PQR, I can spell. There we go, red-eyed tree frog. Wilson, our only male option, pretty cheap. Let's go ahead and adopt you. Now, these two are pretty old, but I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're still able to procreate. Let's see. Zoopedia, what does it say here? sterility is at death so we might still get some babies out of them before we invest in some females let's see if we have any success there we we'll want to come back over here and check on them again up over here the titan beetles one male one female so we'll be fine over here uh down over here oh right it was mentioned though it was mentioned though that there's a fertility issue here wow yeah fertility why so inbreeding is not a thing for at least it didn't used to be a thing for exhibit animals uh, so it's it, it shouldn't be because of that, but this is a problem. 1% on you and Garbina, 1% on you. Longevity gene is pretty small or low as well. Uh, let's see, exhibit trading. Let's take a look at our Titan beetles over here. All right, storage. Got a couple options. Pretty young. Fertility is zero. Hmm. Did they start implementing uh inbreeding for that would be ridiculous for for titan beetles can you imagine having to manage this stuff there's something else is up here 33 and zero there's got to be something else up over here okay well i guess we need some new titan beetles again pretty cheap they have a lot of babies when they do so low cost high impact where'd you go titan beetle i saw you just a moment ago titan beetle there we are Manuel over here, 500 bucks. Yikes. Let's go for it. Send you in here. Make sure our others have been removed. You and you. The Trade Center. Let's go ahead and get our female over here, Juanita. Stop you and bring you in here. Again, we'll sell the other Titan Beetles and that should hopefully, I mean, not hopefully, but that will get us some money. Hopefully enough money. Down over here, yellow anacondas. You suffering from similar issues? Hmm, I might want to swap these guys out as well. Let's see, exhibit trading. Once all this trading is taken care of, we're going to go ahead and hit play, and I don't think we'll pause again afterwards. Yellow anaconda, do we have any? No. So I'm going to have to go with the 33% here. Let's see if I compare you. Yeah, fertility is low. Chance of a successful conception is still high. The end result, though. You see, it doesn't mark inbreeding or anything, but interesting. Okay, well, well, we'll see if they're able to produce any children with decent fertility. Over here are iguanas. You guys okay? You guys seem to be doing all right. Who is the other one in here? Well, either way, fertility is high, so that's good. But there's only two in here, right? Yes. That's promising. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That's all that taken care of. You and you and you two. Yes, excellent. Then back up over here in the center. Got a couple of uh, options. Dumadi is fertile and long-lived. And we've got Eloc here, or Eloc. Same thing. Pretty good stats. Over here, we have the roaches. Social health is kind of a problem. I assume that's because there's way too many roaches here. If you guys... What are we looking at here? Oh, fertility. Hmm... That is, uh, okay. Our, our male here is okay. Benjamin or Benjamin is okay. So let's go ahead and just get 
email roach Ooh, just saying that made my like skin crawl embray yeah let's go ahead and send you to the zoo get you in here Ava over to the trade center now embray is a little bit on the old side so got to keep an eye out for that but uh, hopefully lots of babies abound. Oh, okay, that made my skin crawl as well. Um, I should just not say anything when I'm looking at the roaches. Um, I, I think that's all good over here. I just want to change this color because I, I know I will forget otherwise. Go ahead and try and kind of match the um, the tones or the idea behind the, uh, the, the kangaroos. I mean, it's a little bit grayer than this, I suppose, maybe. Like a little too vibrant. Yeah, it's a lot. It's way too vibrant. Way, way too vibrant. A little bit more desaturated. There we go. There we go. Match the entire aesthetic around these parts. There. I think that's a bit better. Cool. Okay. So, exhibit trading. If we go ahead and select all except for you, one male. Kind of want to keep these two eastern brown snakes. Everybody else I think is good to go. Let's keep you. I'm just keeping a handful of these gold rateds so that we can maintain high appeal in our own zoo as well. Uh, we don't have any other high appeal female roaches it looks like. All right, fair enough. So let's go ahead and quick trade all of you. I think I've got all my bases covered. Yeah, none of the Titan beetles are really worth keeping. So quick trade. I said quick, tra I said quick trade, thank you. The nice easy 9k made there, right? A couple animals left over that we can use again for uh, for better breeding. Uh, but with that said, let's go ahead and unpause. And as that happens, the first thing I want to do is actually close this ride. And the reason why we're closing this ride is because I want to do a test first. The test I want to do is what happens if people have to walk around. A lot of guests were becoming very unhappy while waiting in line over here, right? Turning this uh, ride off is not a permanent solution. It is a temporary test. We're going to do a little bit of A-B testing over here, right? With guests not waiting here for a long time, they won't be getting as upset because they're not just standing there getting hungry, thirsty, hot, whatever it might be. Uh, they'll be walking around. Now, they might complain about other things. They might complain about standing. They might complain about walking, whatever it might be. That's fine. But I want to see the overall impact of getting rid of that, you know, dense sort of <laughs> area of hostility, if you will. Eventually, we want to trade this for a train. I think the train is the only way to go for this kind of a ride. Um, as many of you pointed out in the comments, again, this is really one of those things that... Um, sorry, if we take a look at the transport rides. Basically, all of these are low quantity movers. They're not going to pick up a bunch of people and take them from point A to point B. The small steam train is the only one that really does that. It is also the most expensive of the options for you know, obvious reason. So rebuilding the tracks and everything will be pretty expensive. So I need to make sure that our experimentation between now and then works. So we have that money saved over because once we have the train set up over here, what I might do is I might actually change its path a little bit. Right now, for example, we drop people off over here, which I do like. But well, what I might do instead is keep this, okay. Keep this to this, to this active maybe. And then add the trains going as an outer ring from the entrance over to, I don't know, maybe, oof, maybe like up over here or something and then continue onwards to somewhere in Africa, like up over here, and then continue onwards to like the end of Australia or something. So that way we're adding another layer. And in fact, we'll, we'll see that. I, I think that's what I might do. The train will move more people. And if we drop those people off, let's say again, somewhere out over here, and they can take the stairs down to, uh, to, uh, to, to Darwin's Den, for example, that way they can walk back towards the rest of the attractions, back towards the center of the zoo, and back up towards Africa or Australia or what have you. Now, what might help as well, as many of you have pointed out, is simply connecting um, Africa to, well, Africa, you know, but, but connecting this long gap. Definitely something I think that would help. But in all honesty, I feel like if I just put down the path right now, guests will be so unhappy in that trek, they're going to be, I don't know, they're going to be littering, they're going to be unhappy, they're going to be hot. Um, 
It's something to consider for sure. I'm trying to figure out the best way to go about it. Is it just putting down a path or is it putting down a ride? I was going to have a river ride here. A long story about the enclosures and stuff planned around it. I'm really excited to execute those. Uh, and, and a river ride, like the boat ride, would be a good way to get guests, you know, closer to the central area. Because again, our safari is largely going to be over here. Uh, so that would work. That would work. A straight path, I think, might be a problem. What I think we need to do is the next animal we add, uh, some of y'all were suggesting should be behind the lions. Don't disagree. Um, some of y'all were suggesting it should be, you know, just an African animal. So there's more reason to come up over here. I think, yes, I, I think it needs to be an African animal. Um, I think it needs to be over here. And what we can do is we can try and like close the gap to this section over here, right? Uh, so I think what, I think that's what we'll do next. I've got a couple of suggestions, warthogs, uh, hyenas, a couple of suggestions that are on my mind uh, as uh, as primary picks. Elephants, as much as I'd love to get elephants in, I do love uh, elephants of all kinds. They are extremely expensive to feed as well, I've been told, so I'm trying to be a bit careful about that uh, for now. Also, this has been pointed out to me as a little error I left behind. Fixed, thank you very much. Now that we're over here, let's talk about the lions who continue to be expensive. Still spending a lot of money on them. I've got a lot of cubs. What I might actually want to do is get Abayomi over here on contraceptives. We can't have more baby lions. We just, we can't right now. Uh, we can't afford them. Um, you know, we, we can we can scrape by but that's not what I'm looking for here. We need to recover, and then once all of these cubs become adults, we're going to trade them out, um, and then we're going to get rid of the contraceptives. I could also, at least temporarily, move some of these cubs into the trade center, and that way we don't have to feed them. Uh, probably not a bad idea either, actually. They are all such good quality animals. But I thought I saw someone was maturing, at least. Protesters have arrived. What for now? What for now? Um, and where, how can I see you? Or is that an old notification? Because I know we had protesters at like the end of the previous session. I don't see protesters anywhere. Yeah, we're good. I don't see, oh, what is this though? Oh, rubbish bins that are full. Okay. Over to the zoo, over to the staff, over to our caretakers. Africa West, no, center over here, just wandering. Of course, you're just wandering. Gonna move you. And to here, hopefully you'll take care of both of these. Yeah, I need to get like a staff room up over here or something as well. Okay, that's that taken care of. Protesters, protesters. Do I see protesters? I do not see protesters. Okay, so that is definitely an old notification then. That is definitely an old notification then. This is from a year ago saw this happening that was last session as well okay fair enough fair enough oh you're about to die of old age here a knock such a cutie such a cutie who do we have here that's a giant ant eater i'm pretty sure we have some yeah we've got uh now over here the elderly matriarch the tenok die in his sleep no, it marked him as dead, but he's not act. There it is. Destination not set. What are you doing to my Baird's tape here? <laughs> Destination not set. Okay. Interesting. What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, the vet's here to pick him up. Didn't even get to see his, like, uh, age stats or any of that stuff. That's a little sad, not gonna lie. Okay, this ride has stopped. These guys have decided to all stop up over here. Fair enough. No huge clump of unhappy guests up over here. Good stuff. Okay. Um, again, we'll be clean, cleaning that ride up, so don't uh, don't worry about that. What was I looking for? Baird's tape here, right? Over here. Down over here. Sorry, down over here. Let's take a look at what animals we have here. Again, these guys are big donation drivers as well. We do have a young boy. A lot of Oh my god, they're so cute. Not the best stats, but pretty good. Pretty good. Right, and we do have a mother as well. Now that mother is... We've had so many amazing... Um, we've had so many amazing Baird's Tapir children because of that mother. 
I wonder if we can. Hmm, not gonna fly, obviously. Well, you're not an adult yet, but they're they're almost certainly related, right? They're almost certainly related. But Atsi is much better to keep than Shalotl here. So I think what we'll do is we'll um let's see, let me check your stud book here. Your parents were Nahuatl, and I'm sure your parents include Nahuatl as well. And not see your stud book here. No, I'm guessing I have to go through zoo, animals, Baird's tape here. Like so. Nope. There it is. Your genealogy. Now, yeah, I'm not surprised. I, I, I knew that, but I just wanted to be 100% sure. Fair enough. We'll wait until our current baby comes of age. Trade him out. Um, now, Watl by then will probably pass away. We'll get our new gold rated Baird's tape here in. We'll get a mail for her as well, and that should be good. Now, we had happy guests for a moment there. For, for a split second, we had happy guests, which is promising. There we go. Zawadi here has matured. Excellent. Zawadi right off the bat. Great stats. Go ahead and send you to the Trade Center. Send you to the Trade Center. There we go. All right. It's going to be a little bit cheaper over here. Great. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Guest needs, I think, are pretty well covered. I mean, again, one thing we have to wait for is for all those grumpy guests to leave, right? They've been made grumpy. They're going to stay grumpy for a while. Um, place as dull as dishwater. <laughs> Amazing. Where, where were you? <laughs> where were you? Yeah, we're going to have to put down some more benches and stuff. Uh, I think I want to work on that next as well. I'm trying to figure out exactly where that would be best placed. I and mean, look at the number of guests. We have a lot of guests coming through. Um, ooh, we just saw somebody become happy. That's always good to see. What's your problem? Are you fleeing from a jaguar? No. Thirsty going home. Ticket price was good value. No, I'm not sure why they're running. Lots of damaged things around here. Hmm. I guess they spotted this before we could get the repairs done. Oh, lots of happy guests over here. Okay, I feel like things are trending positive. One of us was pickpocketed somewhere. Mm. How many more cameras can I put down? This area is pretty well covered, I would say. I think this area is pretty well covered as well. We have any... Sorry, this is showing all. That's why. Cameras and guards. There we go. So yeah, we are pretty well covered over here. We are pretty well covered over here. Up over here. I'd say decent coverage. Maybe we get some cameras up over here or something. Pickpocketing can happen anywhere, obviously. Let's check up on that. Um, New no, up over here. Security. Thank you. Oh, you see, this is because of a security guard. Might be where a lot of the pickpocketing is happening, actually. One up there. One up here. That should help. One over here. And one over here. Okay, good coverage. A little bit of a blind spot over here. I wonder how bad that might actually be. We'll keep an eye out for it. Over here, we have a bit of a blind spot over here. I can go ahead and add two over there. I'm gonna recalculate their climbing, I think. Yep, <laughs> that's exactly what it's doing. Okay, fantastic coverage over here. And what about down the ways over here? I think we're good. We're good, we're good. Over here, pretty good. Hey, this, is, this has got to be good enough, right? Guests don't go that far along so as to get pickpocketed over there. Fair enough. Now, oh, looks like the low welfare is fine. I'm not surprised. I had a feeling it was just a matter of uh, time. Chalotl is about to mature. Fair enough. Over here, education speakers overlapping. That's just because there's a large group that's uh, going over the same spot at the same time. Lots of folks to say hello to. Not the primary concern right now. Man. <laughs> the pathfinding feels pretty cool. Alright. Let's take a quick look over here. If any of this stuff has made a difference yet. Last year was a positive 3k. Ongoing expenses. Is it still the food? I mean, we've reduced that significantly. We can take a look at the staff wages as well. Still a couple months left. It's going to be 120k again. We could let go of some people. We might have done a little bit of overhiring, uh, with the, uh, in all honesty. 
and I'm guessing another feeding just happened. Huge drop from negative 3 to negative 12 or whatever. And when I say another feeding, I mean specifically lions. And that seems to be the case. Yeah. But he's in here right now means he just fed them. Yeah, you can see. They've just been fed. Take a look at this. It's still going to be last year's. Well, last year it was 21. Let's see what it says next year about this year. But that's definitely not ideal. Now, guest needs. More grumpy people on their way out right now. And what I'm hoping is that it's a matter of... Yeah, see, like, these guys saw protesters. They've been here for a while now. They've been here for... 25 minutes. Yeah, Jack group. Like, you're unhappy? Get out. Get out of here. 30 minutes. Like, I feel like there's a huge group of grumpy people that just need to leave. Now, what's the deal over here? Lots of unhappiness over here. Looking at baby llamas. You guys are fine. You guys are okay. Still a fair bit of congestion in here, it looks like. Who died? Cusco, no. Died of old age. Taking the eternal nap. <laughs> the eternal nap. The vet over here. Alright. Um, let's see. Putting down benches time? Maybe. I find the hot spot of grumpiness. This is definitely one of them, and I'm trying to figure out what's causing it. And if upgrading, or rather l making this path a little bit larger is all it will take. These guys are just, like, they've been standing there forever, it feels like. How long have you been here? Okay, let's keep an eye out for that, for sure. These guys are gonna need an umbrella. I assume that was from a while ago as well. These guys went from being unhappy to happy. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some more benches down. I feel like that's all the confirmation I really need. Put some more benches down. What's the worst that could happen? Not all that expensive or anything. I can even just put them down in their kind of like raw form. For now. You guys stuck over here? What's going on? Are you going to move? Yeah, okay. Are you guys stuck over here? I feel like they were stuck over there. They were trying to get across, but then couldn't. Are you getting stuck over here? Is everybody getting stuck over here? Is putting benches in the middle a bad idea? Well, it looks like some. Looks like they're getting through okay. I gotta keep an eye on this. Maybe this has been a part of the problem all along. Shouldn't be. These paths are large enough. I might leave the decorating until later. Might leave the decorating until later. The most desperate of times might call for the most desperate of measures. That's not just trading out animals, but actually taking a loan. Not just dealing with animals, but dealing with sharks at that point. But it might be worth investigating. Are these guys still stuck here? You know what? I feel like they don't want to be here anymore. Going home, it says. I think they've been stuck here for a while. I think they might have been causing... Look at that. Yeah, they, I think they were causing a big jam. See, this is the kind of stuff that, like, throws me off. We've had a couple of bugs showing up lately that uh, have caused us some major issues, including jaguars clipping through their enclosure. And that kind of stuff is like slowing stuff down and causing issues, and that's um, problematic to say the least. I might start charging for ATMs actually. And and washrooms. Desperate times, desperate measures as they say, right? Even just 25 cents, right? Like, tiniest bit can make such a big difference. I need to speak, make such a big difference. Alternatively, I lower the ticket price a little bit so that when people come in, they come in happy. And uh, and that might counteract the entire situation in a different way. 
I could have stayed longer. Get a good view. I mean, you just arrived. I don't know how you can tell, but okay. I think the price is fair. I still think it's a fair price. I could lower it a bit. Okay, last year, negative 11k. Alright. Go ahead and see what you have to say about that. We saved a little bit of money here. We can definitely get more of these cubs. Or we can get some of the adults into the trade center. <laughs> That's adorable. More cubs to play with then. More cubs to watch. Need at least two adults in here, right? Amina and Abayomi. Some of these kids can be sent off. Malawa taking a nap, buddy. Okay, well, to the Trade Center you go. I'm over here. Very old. She's getting very old. Could even release her to the wild or something. The Trade Center. Okay. Hopefully that'll help a fair bit. Again, these are all temporary measures. Take a look here. Refunds. See if so just as a note, when we drop down or if we drop down to medium difficulty, the only thing that'll change significantly is this refund thing. Unhappy with visit. What's the threshold for that? What's the threshold for that? Right? Over here, this is still a jam. You know what? I'm just gonna okay, here's what we're gonna do. I feel like this needs some clearing out. And then we'll be fine. Like, let's go ahead and just pull you down here. Maybe be exploring Pachamama's garden. Okay, that's fair. Viewing, exploring, viewing. We're also clearly viewing. These guys are getting stuck over here again. It's like the pathfinding has changed. Exploring. Never used to be a problem. Even even when this was super crowded, this has always been a very crowded space. Let's not forget. Exploring. Okay. Been to worse places. Uh, yeah, yeah. I bet you have. I bet you have. What are your needs right now? Hunger, thirst, everything's fine. Just happiness. Generic thing. What a generic thing. I'm wondering, like, okay, do I get more... If I get more vendors, I have to pay more salaries. That's a problem. Get more, um, vending machines, I have to, uh... I have to, uh, potentially get more mechanics. Two down. I'm just going to drop these down without decorative elements right now. We'll add the decorative elements again when finances are looking a little bit better. A couple more on that side. Let's go and get a couple more on this side as well. Now again, if none of these solutions do the trick, then what I think we'll do is next time we'll go ahead and add another animal. And uh, try and see if pulling people towards the lines a bit more using another animal does the trick instead. That's my, that's my kind of like my next solution. That and a train ride to get people going around. I feel like actually on that note, have I stopped seeing... And I don't think, oh no, people will complain about too much time walking. I mean, I suppose I could make this path connection over here. It's like one of those what's the worst that could happen things that ends up being, you know, a terrible mistake, right? It's a long journey. Long journey. But I pull a shortcut somehow. Loop back a little bit. Because the real problem is when people come over here to see the, uh, you know, the Seychelles area, so to speak, and then they want to go back. It's that backtracking that kills them. I think, you know what, I think what we'll do is, uh, next session, if it comes to adding an animal, I might add that riverboat ride as well that I was talking about. And that way I'll feel a lot more comfortable. Oh, I don't know. Because the first investment I should make as far as rides is concerned is, is probably a train ride. Almost certainly. It was good while it lasted, so you're happy. Okay, good. Just clicking on one happy guest, though, doesn't summarize it all. The zoo is great. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Overall, pretty happy. Okay. Loving the look of five o'clock somewhere. Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. I wish I had a better view of the llama. Well, maybe stand at a better spot. He's missing. Okay, good stuff. These guys seem pretty happy, actually. 
this, this is still a mess. People that make it this far out are happy. Okay, good. Good. Okay, gonna check Pachamama's garden. What's wrong with you? What's wrong up in this area? What's the issue? Views from this bench were okay. I feel like the Australia section is causing me a lot of trouble. I can't be 100% sure. Hungry and thirsty. You go in there hungry and thirsty, but there's stuff to buy food and drink from right back there. Hey. Like I said, desperate times. Not 50 cents, 25 cents. Synchronize prices. ATMs I always hesitate to add a price to because it's like if you can't withdraw money then you can't spend more money. So I'm just going to set this to 25 cents and see if that makes a difference. What are you running around for? Having a great time. You're kind of hungry. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see negative impact if there is a... Ah, hello. Well, this is problematic. <sighs> There's a bin right here. There's a bin... I cannot put a bin closer than I've already put these bins. That one's full, okay, but this one is not. Buddy's right here, and I'm sure you're upset because of the, uh... Oh no, you're happy somehow, despite standing right in the middle of a bunch of litter for a while. What are you running for? Oh, they have caretakers. These guys are unhappy. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. We've got caretakers. We've got lots of caretakers. Tons of caretakers up over here. Do we need to get a mechanic up in here? Guess so. Again, guests consider them to be broken looking. Line up over here. That's full, but that'll get cleaned out. Down over here. Still all clear, looks like. No litter. No overlapping elements. This has been, again, we've checked this multiple times. It does not actually cause any issues. We're fine there. I could turn on those staff PR courses again so that we're making guests happy when uh, when selling them stuff. Might be worth a shot. Like 300 bucks a year. Actually, you know what? I don't even think I ever turned them off. Now that I think about it. Staff rooms. Yeah, staff PR courses are still active. Vendors with this perk will make the guests they interact with even happier. Yeah, that's the one to stick with. That's the one to stick with. Got this one over here as well that we can swap. Again, it's not that much more expensive. It's not that much more expensive. Um, yeah, why, why the low welfare? Hydration. You're not stuck here, are you? Ah, you're free to roam. Roam free. Get a drink. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't be unhappy around the guests. Uh, negative impact? No, sorry. Guess needs. What's the deal over here? Energy is low. Maybe some more benches over here as well. Two down over here. Got these picnic benches over here, but they don't seem to be doing as much as I would maybe like them to. The picnic bench up over here as well. Again, maybe not doing as much as I would like it to. Add another one of you over here. Okay, hopefully that does the trick a little bit. This is, I think, our... It's, it's either this is our problem zone or Australia. It is somewhere the guests are being made very unhappy before they manage to leave. Why do we have a bunch of unhappy guests over here? Fine. Too big over here. And I've got the vending machines down over here as well. You know. The vending machines as well. A quick check over here. We have babies, excellent. 
fertile. You are fertile as well. Okay, great. Near the trade center. Over here. Got babies. Beautiful. Darlene. Yep. And Edite. Yep, excellent. Good stuff. Go ahead and get all of you ready for trade. Could you use another 9k cash injection? <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm a little worried about our yellow anacondas over here. You guys, I'm a little concerned, but they should they should be okay. They, they were fine in terms of fertility and stuff, so they should be okay. Up over here. Okay, Embray is pregnant, so that's good. At least there's that. And over here, nothing yet. Okay, all in all in good time. All in good time. All in good time. What are the challenges we might want to look into? Re release three Colombian white-faced capuchin. The wild. Hmm. This education rating is kind of pointless. Yearly drink profit. We might be able to hit that. Okay. Okay. Benches. The benches down over here. Benches up here. Benches up here. Benches up here. Lots of room to sit if you're tired en route. That's still managing to make their way up over here. Let's go ahead and put benches down for them as well. Like so. If that helps any. What about on this side? Not so much on this side. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. A little asymmetrical design right now. These benches down. Right by the donation bins. Okay. More over here. More over here. Here and here. Lots of seating. Again, it's just 25 bucks a piece, so it's not that expensive or anything. Oh, wow. Look at the space in the night. Wow. I really like how that looks. I really like how that looks. The bright and the dark spots. Very pleased with that. Very pleased with that. Good stuff, good stuff. See, even with all this stress, we can still be happy about the things that we're executing. <laughs> we'll be happy about the things we're executing. Need a soda or something. Well, where, where did you say that? Where had you said that? I wish I could... Hell, let's get some more vending machines down. Because at least that way we're not paying salaries, I suppose. Though, I mean, more mechanics, right? These aren't seeing any action. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at facilities. Vending machines. This is a gulpy what? A gulpy, and this is a pip shot. Okay. Coffee over here is not a good idea. Over here, some good lineups. The pip shots are drawing some attention, as they tend to. Again, all the all the water. I'm, I'm assuming water. Water is such a popular like thing to sell. How much money have you made for us? You're operating at a deficit here. Okay, well, if that's the case. Up the price a little bit. Go ahead and make you 2.25 instead. What about you? Yeah, you're all set. You operating a deficit as well? Yeah. I mean, a marginal one, but a deficit nonetheless. Every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. Expect the food situation to be significantly better this year. I think what we'll have to do is if we're going to uh, replace the ride, you can see for the last many years now we've just been paying to have the ride run. Probably at a loss. Where is uh, purchases? No, not purchases, sorry. Um, income. If we look at ticket sales. Ride tickets. Let's see. Ride running costs. Okay, not, not necessarily at a loss, but at a marginal profit. Marginal profit. But hopefully the train will fix that. 
Donations have gone down a little bit this year. Not good, not good. That was a positive change, but this is obviously not ideal. Fair enough. Chop income is also significantly down. It's a huge drop. In, uh, in shop income. Even ticket sales, that's a huge drop in ticket sales. I guess we have two months left, but I don't know if we'll make that money in two months. You can see there's this trending, downwards trending, uh, line here. Wish I could... Cash flow. I mean, wow. We definitely hit some real low lows sometimes. That's the zero mark, right? Okay, problematic. Don't need graphs to tell us that, though. Alright, what's your problem? Are you upset that you're waiting for so long? What, okay, what are you trying to get over here? Rock Pops. Croc Pops is what? Cosmic Cow... Oh, wait, what? Oh, Croc Pops, like not Pops, like soda. Right, okay, in that case, let's go ahead and get a Cosmic Cow something back over here, because that area looks always busy. Always busy, so let's get the Cosmic Cow milkshakes over here. And maybe one over here as well? This area is not nearly as busy, right? It doesn't see as much action, so I don't want to add too many vending machines over there. Rukia is about to mature. Excellent. Adorable little thing. Oh, having a little drink. Taking a little break from life. Well, adulthood is about to come through and <laughs> change that. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They are so cute. Send her to the Trade Center as well. Again. These are some great stats. We can definitely, I mean, I, we could even release them to the wild, honestly, with stats like these. It's good to, it's good to release to the wild from time to time. Um, just, it, it's one of the core parts of the game, right? Not just about collecting conservation credits. And sometimes, I mean, you can gain some pretty good conservation credits by sending animals to, uh, or releasing animals to the wild. Okay, it's one of those things where uh, the game says they're about to mature, but they're not really going to mature. <gasps> oh. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> Close to drowning. Not yet. We'll get there, folks. Now nah, I love a, I love a good um, uphill struggle like this. Okay, money's on the way up now. That's promising. Is it though? Let's see. Those milkshake sales might help a little bit. Okay, lots of unhappy people on their way out. Time to go home. We'll spend too much time walking. Is that really the only thing? And that's just ruining your experience completely? That's just completely ruining your entire experience. And that's where the uh, refunds come from. 3,000 this year. So, you know, it's not, uh, it's not a matter of putting us in the positives, but it is a significant reduction in the negatives. Food there, we saved about 4k, roughly. Habitat repair, power costs went up a little bit. Of course, I put down more cameras and stuff like that. Yeah, refunds dropped significantly, so that's good. That's good. Unhappy with visit, that dropped significantly. That's excellent. Um, solving something there, at least. Now, let's go ahead and check real quick on our lions. Another year has come and gone. What do you say about that? 13k. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better. Have you reached adulthood in here? Still nothing, eh? Still just the one adult. Yep, looks like it. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, and it's feeding time right off the bat, is it? It's gonna be a nice start to the year. Oof, we might, we might actually hit uh, negatives. We might actually hit negatives. Rukia has matured. Or so you claim. Stop lying to me, game. Need to work quickly and efficiently here. 
when it comes to removing them. Yeah, okay, more people here complaining. Be on their way out, always grumpy. Stay longer. Alright, I, I guess it's the ride. Removing it from the equation didn't do the trick, but uh, replacing it, I think, almost certainly will. But uh, exhibit trading. Sell all of you for 7k. Honestly, I might just... I might just... Quick trade. 4k made there. A little bit of money. Gives us, again, a bit more of a, a bit more of a runway. I could add some more benches over here. That might, um... You know what, that might help a fair bit, actually. On their way back, they get to sit down for a bit. Pop you down over here. Maybe expand these a little bit as well. Make them uh, two side by side. Come on. There we go. There we go. Over on this side. I mean, I don't think we're having as much trouble on this side, but it doesn't hurt to get ahead of it. Only a matter of time, right? Down over here. Alright. See if that makes any difference. Yeah, again, like if I put a train down. I, mean, I could put a train down that only serves... Oh, you know what I'll do. Here, here's what I'll do, I think. Okay. Taking the risk. But again, what's life without risks? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, edit track. Get rid of you. Get rid of all of you. This entire section over here. This way. Undo that. Keep you over here. This way. Hold on. I need to make sure that piece was still down over here. It is indeed. Yes. Okay, good. And it's connected. Right back over here. Delete all of this. Undo that. Keep you. All right. Change you to shuttle mode. How can you have 12 cars in shuttle mode? Can't you only have like just one car in shuttle mode? I'm very curious. Let's start with four cars. Maximum speed. Turn you on. Okay. My hope here is that this will at least reduce the amount of walking to do between these three regions. We made a little bit of money back by getting rid of the uh, the tracks and all that over here on this side. And if it makes us any money, then, you know, it's good. If it doesn't make us any money, if it sees absolutely zero action, then we've, we've learned that this does nothing, right? And we can get rid of it completely in its entirety and replace it with uh, with trains instead. Because again, I feel like these are they're well enough placed... Yeah, see, look at that. They're just going to bump off each other. I'm surprised the game even allows you to do this as the settings. Down to one. That's a long trip. I don't think that's going to fly. I don't think that's going to fly. And connecting end to end, I'd have to do a loop around that way. And to me, that kind of becomes the same issue, really. Kind of becomes the same issue, really. Where is the car? Empty right now, and it's like zipping around. Oh, well, sure, let's try it. It's the worst that could happen, right? What's the worst that could happen? I feel like we're already kind of in that situation. Happy about everything except for the walking, I'm assuming. Yeah. The drops. I mean, we've got a bunch of benches over here. A bunch of benches over here. We got benches over here. Like, I got, I got benches. I got benches. Uh, this is too narrow, I think, for a bench. We got benches over here. We got benches over here. There's benches everywhere. Not like they're lacking, you know? You guys seriously looking at these guys from here? You are, aren't you? 
no donation bin up. Well, there's this donation bin over here. I guess they're drawing some donations. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And what's the deal over here? Still jam-packed. Uh, it looks like it's a bit more mobile. There's some more movement. Are you stuck over here with the benches? See, I'm starting to feel like this is why people are complaining about I've been walking for too long. As much as I would hope that that's not the case, it's really starting to feel that way, isn't it? Really kind of starting to feel that way. We're fine over here, it looks like. Not really. Okay. Pull you back here. Pull you back. Here, you won't let me. Okay, over here then. Pull you back to here. I'm really starting to feel like this is uh, the issue. These uh, centrally placed benches that the game maybe doesn't understand. Maybe. G there. Let's see if this helps traffic in the area. Can you imagine this being the fix? Oh my god. Down. Yeah, like so. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Okay, seeing a bit more movement over here. Not as jammy. More movement over here. What are you running for? I was getting nervous when I see people running. Oh, we have a fat monkey. You're upset about a fat monkey? What's wrong with what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? It's a happy animal. <laughs> people will find anything to complain about. I'm just not talking about the game. <laughs> Fine here. I want to see how much of an impact this makes, but it's not a good experiment without moving some of these as well. Move you up over here. Whoops, nope. Try and keep you snapped there. Excellent. Move you up over here as well. This is our golden bench. We might want to swap out as well. Smack dab in the middle. Uh, might move it somewhere else. Might rotate it, maybe. Right, do this kind of a thing instead. I think we're about to have a mature kangaroo. Fair enough, alright, okay, good stuff, good stuff. What about our lions? The game was lying to me earlier. So Kia. Go ahead and send you to the Trade Center. Facility broken down. The vending machine. Right, let's get the mechanic out over here. We were like just looking at these two. Okay, a little bit of attention being drawn over here. That's good. That's good. Have you already made me some money? You have. Not a lot, but a little bit. You're going to upset people. This needs to be fixed soon. People operating at a loss. Okay. Might actually get rid of this one. There. Done. Just the one over here so we don't have two side by side. I feel like that'll work a little bit better. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. These guys, what are you complaining about? It's a flat out drinking. Probably waiting in line for too long. How long have you been in here? 43 minutes. Okay, you kind of have stayed for a long time. I do wonder if that uh, if that was part of the problem. I mean, look at this, right? That's a significant bump. And again, these guys are big money makers, so I don't want to stop people from coming in here. I don't. Want, I want to make it as easy as possible to drop a donation in here. Easy as possible, and that might all, that would also explain the uh, drop in donation amount. If people were having a hard time getting in and out of this area, Madi is thirsty. Let's go and get people over here. Oh, looks like one's already arrived. Good, good, good. And T Dam over here is about to mature. High quality, I think. Decent. Gold ranked. Gold rated, whatever you want to say. Gold appeal, I suppose. Decent jeans. Might be worth a trade. Again, might do a trade session sometime soon. Or we might want to hold on to some of these animals to um, have the option to sell them as well for a quick cash injection. But I mean, financially, again, we've finally 
kind of struck a point here where we're making a profit. What's happened? What's changed? Right? What's changed? It's August, and we've already made as many ticket sales as we made in all of last year. Ignore the ride tickets. It's still basically the same. That is re what changed. It's huge. Shop income is getting close. Donations, I mean, that's not nearly as high. Okay. Feels better. What about ongoing expenses? Animal food. One more feeding would definitely bring us back down to the negatives, potentially. Right? But, overall, I mean, we've even had more refunds let escaped animals. Who escaped and why wasn't I warned? I didn't get a notification about an escaped animal. I was, honestly, like, <laughs> some of these very important things need to happen so that we can stay on top of them. Uh, but anyway, that aside, that aside, right, it's 2,800. A few people still unhappy with their visit. Fair enough. We're, we're about the same as last year. But that increase in, 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 in ticket sales, though, look at that. And, I mean, we're selling ride tickets, so, you know, I guess might as well make some money off of that. I don't know if it's, uh, might be operating at a loss now, though. Might be operating at a loss now, though. Yeah, all these stations have been renamed, of course, because they were deleted and then rebuilt. Potential yearly profit. It balances out, though, right? Like, if they are, if I'm operating at a loss on a yearly basis, but those same guests are happier now because they're getting from point A to point B more easily, uh, then that is, um... A potential source of more money right definitely something to consider okay good stuff what the deal is over here Marjani is about to mature all right good stuff good stuff fine for vending machine cosmic count okay what's up over here wow this milkshake stuff is a lot more popular than i had initially anticipated let's go ahead and put you down over here what that does for us. We're using washrooms. And again, washroom use does not count as ticket sales, by the way. So that 25 cents isn't a part of this massive difference. As much as that is helping. People are using the benches as well, so that's good. That's good. I, I hope that's helping a little bit. The space is still pretty crowded as well, so that's good as well. On your way out, what are you thinking? Wish I could have stayed longer. I get even more benches, I suppose, or that switch to the train. You're waiting in line to use the washroom? I guess so. I hope they don't put the prices up for Crocodudu. You see, like... Wait, you're upset at a vending machine for poor service? How does that make any sense? Are you just waiting in line for too long, maybe? Alright, let's, uh, let's see if adjusting the prices down on, uh, on the washrooms helps with guest happiness. Uh, income... Shop income, I suppose. Facility sale. There's a bunch of refunds now. What were they running from? Why haven't I been told? I only guess it's the Jaguars. They're both within their enclosures. Where are you guys running from? Gotta find one who's... Yeah, you guys are running. Fleeing. Fleeing from what? Got really tired. Of course you did. I'm so tired. I better go home soon. These aren't dangerous animals. I mean, the, the kangaroo is, but they're not on that side. Who are you running from? Maybe Jaguar are the cutest. I mean, that's indicative, maybe. Bling, I need a nap. Jaguar is so majestic. It's got to be the Jaguar, right? It's got to be the Jaguar. But, like... You didn't escape. Man, some of these, uh... 
some of these issues that I can't do anything about. You're here. You're here. You're here and you're up here. That's not an escaped animal either. The habitat does not show any escape points. And again, this habitat was working fine for the longest time. Without any issues. Alright, well, I guess I just gotta... Accept that massive hit to my recent income. <laughs> Razani up over here, about to mature. Soon, maybe. Maybe. No. Take their time, don't they? And why you lying to me, game? Why you lying to me? Oh my god, they're so cute. I'm so happy I'm here right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was amazing. Gnawing at your own paw. Ooh, you look at that. You know, maybe all those guests fleeing was a good thing. <laughs> maybe we've cleared out some of the unhappy guests who've been hanging around the zoo, bringing everyone's mood down. And now we're only left with happy guests. Maybe, maybe. Going for a swim, buddy? Come on. Ah, go for a drink. So cute. I love that the like the eyes move and everything. You know, like it's not like even these small things that you would never see if they hadn't done them potentially. It's still so like nicely and vibrantly animated. Alright, guest happiness is through the roof. Excellent. You know what? Maybe that was for the better. Maybe that was for the better. Oh, and even with all of those uh refunds, nine thousand again, refunds through the roof compared to last year. But despite that, despite that, and despite our animal feeding being above normal as well, above normal, above last year, we managed to to sell almost twice as many tickets. Explain that to me, game. <laughs> Did we just hit five full stars? Is that why? May maybe. Maybe. Animal rating, conservation. Everything's up high. Guest rating. I don't I don't think guest rating is what took us to five stars for the record. But, alright. I will take that. I'll definitely take this. Made up for uh, two years ago's losses. Beautiful. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Guest still happy. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think like a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the uh, upset guests got scared off. The ones who'd been walking around a lot. And then this is moving a lot more smoothly now as well. And it looks like this is moving, like this isn't as congested as it was before. I feel like if we move this bench, again, this is our golden bench, but that might mean it's costing us our money as opposed to making us our money. This rotation seems to have helped though. Like I haven't seen too much slowdown over here because this is where guests choose which way to go anyway. So this seems to have, you know, helped. Just our overall adjustments over here. Some people still, you know, finding something or the other to be upset about. But that's normal. There, there's going to be issues. Struggle to satisfy my thirst. It doesn't seem to be the case to me, but okay. Home time. Yeah, they're going to leave upset. Yeah, from time to time, we're still going to have some upset guests here and there. I feel like the train is going to solve that problem, though. So that's good. These guys are stuck over here. That's a bit of a problem. Hold on. What are your needs? Thirst washroom. Put you over there. I need to change my approach to this. Three, four, five sets of families here. Five sets of families here. Now they're going to get their needs taken care of at the very least, hopefully. These guys aren't. These guys up here, though. Good stuff. Eat, grab a drink. Yeah, hunger filled. Excellent, excellent. Went to Shella Refreshing. You gotta last a little bit of money before they uh, head on out, right? Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. Things seem pretty promising right now. Things seem pretty promising right now. Last year ended up being a decent moneymaker. I mean, we can't look at this right now. It's too early in the year to look at the uh, current year's numbers. Last year ended up being a moneymaker. 
Look at all these people lining up over here to see the lines once more. Take a look at the animals. A Johnny. Well, actually, let me check something here. Cost us 13k to feed them last year. A Johnny over to the trade center. And Amina is fine, I think. Salma. Time for you to take a Hayek. Ah! Over to the Trade Center. God. A Salma Hayek reference. Does that even Does that even ring a bell? <laughs> does that does that does that work? Uh anyway, I mean this is I'm not gonna lie. A high note to end the session on. Uh it's a it's a stressful situation. Um it's the reality of playing, you know, hard mode, uh, management focused stuff. But this is, for me, this is the thrill, right? This is the, I, and hopefully y'all enjoy it as well. But you know, we're, we're digging ourselves out of this hole and that's exciting. It's a, it's a fun challenge. It's one that we didn't have to deal with too often at Elite Zoo North, apart from the uh, Polar Bear Mafia, obviously. But this is, a, it feels like a similar sense of accomplishment, right? It's January. We've already made 2K. I feel like this rating is helping us a lot. Guest happiness rating is actually higher now than it was moments ago when I checked as well, even. Wow. Honestly, if it's those benches, I think, you know what's happened? I think a recent update came out that changed guest pathfinding uh, alongside how animal pathfinding works as well. It's got to be something like that. Maybe not directly, but indirectly. Something has changed in how that stuff works which has caused the benches over here to become a big problem, and it's also caused the Jaguars to be able to escape, even though the game doesn't tell me where or how or why. They're all very recent issues. It's not like we've had money issues for the last, you know, three months or something. They're all very recent. So hopefully this rotation of benches and putting them up against the, uh, the walls and stuff has solved that. And hopefully we don't have to, um... Uh, hopefully we don't have to, uh... You know... change too much more lots of people waiting for these rides and stuff as well i think we need to get the uh, the trains in here for sure that's the question though do we get the trains in here to get people around we get the uh, boat ride i was talking about to get people back up this way because not a lot of people end up over here still right not a lot of people end up over here still but that might just be because they're spending a long time going back instead Getting a new animal is almost a must for next session. Again, I think something over here so we can make this connection a little bit sooner. But getting a new animal is almost a must. We can draw some more donations out of them and out of the lions. Uh, I think that would be ideal. The more guests we get up over there, the more money we're going we're gonna to make. These guys over here, not near a... Oh, no, they are near a donation bin. Okay, well, hopefully you're all about to drop some donations. Please and thank you. A good crowd at, uh, at uh, Croc Rock as well still, so that's promising too. Um, all right. Feeling, uh, feeling pretty good. You know what? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and have to say that this was a, uh, yeah, this was a good day. Ah, uh, get it? <laughs> I know that's not how that term is used, but bear with me here, folks. A lot of stress, that's for sure. But I feel like, uh, this, this, there's some relief at the end of this, at the end of this, um, session. Things are a lot better than they were when we kick things off. Again, we dip right down to 20k. We're up at 50 now. This is a good trend. Folks. I hope you enjoyed this session. This is what we're going to call it. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, makes a massive difference in my approach to content on the channel, what I do, how I do it, how I go about, you know, implementing various ideas and things like that. I think next session we will definitely be getting a new animal and potentially at the same time also establishing this train situation. Ah, oh, man, I'm, I'm going to have to think about train versus riverboat. And have to figure out what makes most sense right now. Because the train, again, if we get a, you know, if we get 40 people a day on the train, each buying a ticket at seven bucks a piece, right? Uh, that's huge money compared to like seven people up there taking a boat ride back to here and then still being grumpy about something else. Tough. It's tough. But things are on the up and up. So, folks, like I said, calling it a session. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Leave that like, leave that comment, let me know what y'all think. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for support from the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Till next time. Cheers.